Surah Al-Furqan. In Surah Al-Furqan, chapter 25 of the Quran, interesting verse, you know, it matches with Quran, Al-Furqan, the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in verse 70, in verse 70 tells us about the day of, in verse 69 actually about the day of judgment, etc. And then he comes down in this verse here and he says, Illa man taba wa amana, in verse 70. Illa man taba wa amana wa amila saliha, fawla ika yubaddilullah sayyiatikum hasanat. Very powerful verse. Very interesting verse. Hear what Allah is saying here. In 69, he spoke about a, speaks about the punishment and the consequences of the Day of Judgment. And we don't get into that. Everybody knows what goes on on the Day of Judgment. But he says, except those who make tawbah, and we are alive right now, those of us who have life. We are alive. Allah is telling us to make tawbah, repent for our shortcomings. We still have time. Illa man taba, chapter 25, verse 70. And do righteous deeds. Don't only repent and say, oh Allah, forgive me for drinking alcohol when I was young. Oh Allah, forgive me for robbing people when I was young. Oh Allah, forgive me for lying so much in my life. But stop lying. Don't just make dua. Don't just say I ask repentance to stop lying. Don't ask for repentance for stop, to stop cheating people. Don't ask for repentance for the wrong things we did. But stop it. That's what he's saying here. Strengthen your iman and start doing good deeds. See, a lot of people say, all right, someone came in our shop, we robbed them. Say, all right, I wouldn't do it again. Next day, you rob another person again. We get addicted to robbing people. You know how some people are addicted to, um, to drugs? So <laughs> there are some people who are just addicted to backbiting people, to slandering, to stealing, to robbing. No, make tawba. Here's the good thing about this tawba. Here what Allah does when we sincerely ask Allah to forgive us for our shortcomings because of our ignorance, intentionally or unintentionally what we did wrong, forgetfulness. Then we have Iman and we change our life and then we do good deeds. Hear what Allah says. Allah will change those bad deeds that we did. Could you imagine that? Wow, this is deep, you know. Allah is saying that if you sincerely have faith and you sincerely start doing good deeds and you, we sincerely start correcting our action and changing our life, changing our life to the right path, then Allah will change those bad deeds into good deeds. Do you follow what that means? If we had a million bad deeds, it will become a million hasanat, good deeds. Do you want more credit than that? Do you know Christians say that Jesus died for their sins and it's called their salvation? That's one of the, the beliefs in, in Christianity. And one Christian guy in a debate with me said, what you, what you Muslims have? Your God doesn't, doesn't, your God didn't die for your sins. I said, well, my God doesn't need to die. He's God. He wasn't a human being. But our Allah is saying that if the bad deeds we did, he will change it into good deeds. Could you imagine that? Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse 70, that is very deep. That is very motivating. You know, this morning... I don't run Al Hikmat's social media, whatever, Facebook or Instagram, but sometimes the, the, the office sends it to me or whatever way and I see it, I see it but I don't, I, I don't have access to respond. So a 
non-Muslim guy on social media, I think it was Facebook. This morning, this morning after Fajr, I saw that. After Fajr this morning. He's like, he follows us. He follows our khutbas, he follows our lectures. He's always following us on Facebook. He said, I've been following you a long time. I love your preaching, and I want to accept Islam. He said, but one thing is keeping me back, and he's probably listening to this. But I want to answer him from here, inshallah. He said, there's one thing keeping me back. He said, I can't handle how Muslims ill-treat other Muslims. He said, that's keeping me back from accepting Islam. Go check it out, you guys. I don't know if you could find it on Facebook. He said, I, don't, I, can't, I can't comprehend. This is such a nice religion, such a good teaching. So I want to be a Muslim, but one thing is keeping me back, how Muslims ill-treat other Muslims. So I didn't get a send a reply back to him yet. So we'll have to tell the guys in the office to do it. I wanted to tell him, well, they entreat me to. But you know the difference? I use the ill-treating, the insult, the nasty attitude, the bad ways of people to become better. Alhamdulillah. You know, one very, one very wise man said, you know what they put on plants? What do you put on plants? Soil, eh? Where did soil come from? Most of the time, soil, real soil. <laughs> it can come manure and soil. It can come from filth and garbage. Some of the best soil is filth. Human waste and animal waste. Cow waste. So could you imagine people use filth and waste to grow plants and fruits? The best soil produce the best fruits and the best trees. So what is the soil here? The nasty attitude and the filth of people, we must use that and turn it into good. That's the, his, we, you know there was a famous man called Abdul Qadir Jilani. Have you guys heard about him? Very, very pious saint in the historic days. Abdul Qadir Jilani. Very pious, world renowned. Waliullah. Someone asked him, he said, how have you become so pious and such a nice, good man? How? He said, I would, I would take the good from people and ignore the bad. I will do what? Look at the good in people and ignore the bad. And I will try to inculcate the good of those people into my life to make me a better person. So you don't look for the bad in people. And I want this brother who said this online. Please don't look at the bad as Muslims. Look at the good in the look at the Quran, look at the Sunnah, and look at the good in some of the Muslims. And I'm sure he listening, he's listening to this. Sabdul so Qadir Jilani said that. He became a saint and a good man, known man throughout the world. Volumes are written about him. Look at the good in people. You know, 